Hi guys, um, in this session we're going to be looking at multiplying index expressions. So to get started, we've got a question here, x to the power of 5 times x squared. Now if you remember from the previous um, video that I'd shown you, that you would know that x to the power of 5 is x times x times x, well you know, all the way to 5 and then x squared. So if I was to do this the long method, then I would have to do it like this. So for example, x to the power of 5 is x times x times x times x times another x and then x squared is going to be x times x now if we actually count the number of x's we have we've got seven so it's then this could be written as x to the power of seven now this has taken me an incredible long time for me to actually do this what you will notice or what you should notice is can you see a pattern between these three numbers here and if you say 5 plus 2 equals 7 you're absolutely right so that means if I have something like x to the power of 7 times x to the power of 3 then this could be written as x to the power of 10 because what we're doing is we're actually doing 7 plus 3 so if I was going to write this the powers are getting added so this would equal x to the power of 10. Cool next one this time we have a combination of variables and uh, integers so what we want to do in this case is we want to actually get rid of the numbers first all right so if we do 3 times negative 2 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 and what we have remaining is x squared times x to the power of 4. Now, we know that the powers are going to get added. So we could write this as x2 plus 4. So to finish off, we are going to end up with negative 6 x to the power of 6. All right. Show you another quick example. If I have 3y to the power of 5, uh, multiplied by 4y to the power of 3 then all I need to do is look at the um, coefficients and I say coefficients that's these numbers here so 3 times 4 is 12 and I have y as a base and of course the powers get added up 5 plus 3 is 8 cool next one So as you can see, I've got 4x squared times 3x to the power of 7. So this could be written as 4 times 3, which is 12. And then, now, I've got, no, the bases are not the same. All right. So it's really important when the bases, when I say bases, I'm talking about these things here are not the same. And if they're not the same, you can't really combine the numbers. So literally, your answer then would just be x squared and then y to the power of 7. That's it. You can't do anything else to it. So please be careful. Uh, do not write your answer as, uh, well, I don't think people will do this, but just in case, this does not equal to 12xy to the power of 9. Okay, that is incorrect. So remember, we treat them as, only you only add the, um, the powers if, uh, the variables are the same. So if the letters are the same and it's being multiplied. So I'll give you another example. If I have something like 3x cubed y squared multiplied by 2x to the power of 5 y to the power of 7. If this is the case, then I have a look at my coefficients, which is 3 and 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. Then I have a look at my uh, x variable. I've got x cubed and x to the power of 5. So when I multiply those two, I have to add the powers. So I'm going to get 8. And then having a look at my y variables. So I've got y squared times y to the power of 7. So I'm going to get y to the power of 9. Cool. That's it for this session, guys. Thank you for watching.